Hello everyone, how are you all today? Welcome to our YouTube channel, Liksha Karnataka. Today I am here with another very important session. In this session, we will discuss about your upcoming weekly mock test series. We are calling this series to be KPL, KCA Premier League for Mathematics. This is part of our ongoing series for 100 days. 60 or 60 in mathematics for KSET, okay, 2025. Now, uh, so how to... In this session, we'll, I'll ask, I'll answer all of your questions, like how to approach this mock test, sir. What should we prepare for? What topics are going to be coming for these mock tests? What are the dates for it? What's the time for it? So all of these questions about your KPL mathematics, I will answer in this session today. So let's start with the session. Okay, sir. So what is the first thing which is coming for us? The structure of our KPL maths. The structure of our KPL maths. So this will look like this, bacha. So first of all, you know it. When is this coming? Every Sunday. This is coming on every Sunday okay now first of all to write any test what do we need sir we need question paper we need question paper so first of all let's talk about the structure of the question paper the question paper will have consist of 30 questions 30 questions what about questions sir uh, mostly based on PYQs mostly based on PYQs so we will do PYQ first let's say a chapter does not have 30 PYQs okay we are considering previous questions chapters because what happens is no lot of the portions are deleted also so we if you consider all those portions it will not be relevant for us so only if we consider the relevant portion and the chapter does not have 30 PYQs then what we are going to do is no we are going to take up some case study problems means the question which can be expected to come in case set so those kind of questions can also be taken okay again this will be based upon these 30 questions this 30 questions will be having the structure of 50, 30 and 20 percent. What it means is 50 percent of the questions will be of what type of level? It should be a easier kind. Okay, next will be a moderate kind and then difficult kind. Means all three types of three variety of questions you will solve in these mock test papers. So easy, moderate and difficult. Why is that important? Because actually in the examination this is what the pattern they're following 50 percent of the questions that you expect is easier kind which can be solved directly from your concept of the chapter or the formula based 30 percent questions are of moderate kind means which will be application of the concepts and 20 percent questions will be difficult which will have multiple concepts used from different chapters to get the result okay so all of this will be uh, the mock test paper will be designed in this way so that you are able to cover the three structures. Okay, sir. So first of all, we understood, sir, question paper structure. Good, sir. One thing is cleared. Question paper structure. Now, when will I get this question paper, sir? So first thing is, you will get this question paper. You will get this question paper in the morning of Sunday at 8 a.m. Okay. You will get this question paper in the morning at Sunday, on Sunday at 8 a.m. Now, what is the syllabus, sir? First thing, first question was structure of the question paper, second the timing of the question paper, third is syllabus of the question paper, syllabus of the question paper. So for the syllabus part, for the syllabus part, we will, whatever we have covered, so usually what is happening here, no, what is happening here is Monday to Saturday, we are coming with concept videos, concept videos, in this, whatever topics we have covered throughout the week. Okay, whatever topics we have covered throughout the week, that will be asked, okay, for that particular mock test. So, for let's say for KPL 1, if I take an example of KPL 1, KPL, KSET Premier League for Mathematics 1, which is coming on 6th October, coming on 6th October, in this, we are going to cover relation and functions with some ITF. In, you can expect around 20 questions from here or around 10 questions from here. Mix will be like this, okay? Uh, one or two questions can be here and there. But 20 questions, uh, almost you can expect from relation and functions and 10 questions from ITF. So this is your syllabus for your first KPL, which is on 6th October, okay? Now, so for your part is, you will have to uh, get the pa paper, solve it. Again, how to solve it, we'll see in the coming slides. Now, um, after solving the paper, the syllabus you will know, you can prepare. After solving the paper, every evening, on what day, sir? Every evening on Sunday, Sunday 6 p.m., I'll be coming with your solutions for the KSET, paper, uh, KSET papers, okay? So this mock test paper, I'll be coming every Sunday at 6 p.m. for the solutions. Now you can come, watch the video, get the uh, solutions for your questions, and then you can do the grading. How will that look like? How will that look like? Let's check here. So uh, first question, after, so first we have answered structure of the question paper, service of the question paper, and timing of the question paper, and uh, timing of the solution set. So all of this is discussed. Next part is, how can we download the question paper, sir? So this will be made available every Sunday morning. We'll put it over here. We'll put on our WhatsApp channel. 
विल पुट इट ऑन ऑन आवर व्हाट्सएप चैनल सो यू हैव टू ज्वाइन दिस व्हाट्सएप चैनल ओके आई होप यू हैव ऑलरेडी ज्वाइन सो यू हैव टू ज्वाइन दिस व्हाट्सएप चैनल द लिंक ऑफ दिस व्हाट्सएप चैनल इज गिवन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो मेक सो दैट इफ यू नॉट ज्वाइन यू ज्वाइन राइट अवे यू गेट दिस क्वेश्चन पेपर इन द संडे मॉर्निंग और यू कैन गेट इट फ्रॉम आर कम्युनिटी पोस्ट इन यूट्यूब सो यू कैन गेट द क्वेश्चन पेपर फ्रॉम हियर ऑल्सो डाउनलोड दिस पी डी एफ एंड देन प्लान योर डे मीन्स प्लान योर डे मीन्स लेट्स इन मॉर्निंग यू गॉट द पेपर एट एट ओ क्लॉक देन यू विल हैव सम अदर वर्क ऑन संडे लेट्स यू आर डूइंग केमिस्ट्री बायो इफ यू आर लेट्स इंजीनियर के सेट इज एग्जाम फॉर इंजीनियरिंग यू आर डूइंग केमिस्ट्री ओके मे बी यू आर ट्राइंग टू डू मैथ्स सेकेंड और मैथ्स थर्ड वट एवर इज योर चॉइस सो इफ यू आर लुकिंग टू डू दैट ओके मेक श्योर दैट यू टाइम टू प्लॉट ओके सर आई एम गोना स्टार्ट एट इलेवन थर्टी मैथमेटिक्स ओके आई एम गोना स्टार्ट मैथ्स एट मैथ्स एट इलेवन थर्टी सर ग्रेट You pick the slot. Do not decide it after. Make sure that you have decided this time beforehand. There is there is no confusion. There is no you know delay in the process. So time should be limited. The time should be limited and it should be made up in your mind. So once you know that, time is known. Now first of all, how to approach the test? How to approach the test? So how will you approach the test, bacha? So if the timing is known, now first you have to do the preparation. You have to do the preparation. So for that you will need to do what? Revision of all the topics. Now what all topics? As I said, weekly covered topics. weekly covered topics okay so you'll know for example for this uh, test for first one you have relational functions so you'll cover up everything now in that give priority to the formulas and the basic concepts means you cannot lose marks in this you're not allowed to lose marks in this you should know the formula you don't wait okay sir i know the formulas i've revised i don't have to revise no no you still even if you know the formula you make the revision because if a question is coming directly on the revision uh, on the formula basis then you should not spend even a single minute of time to solve it okay so look at the question one second uh, write the answer okay so make sure that you know all the formulas by heart okay do not know it you have to by heart the formulas second part now in the sessions of the concept video i must have done lot of questions okay every session we are doing questions with the concepts so you make sure that you redo these questions so while obviously doing the chapter once you are solving the questions right you are solving the questions with me but apart from that after also you redo it you redo the questions you revise all the questions again so practice all these questions again okay how can you practice from the lectures and from daily shots one more thing one more thing let's say uh, some you somebody is there who has not understood anything okay then what you have to do is first of all you have to solve ncert first solve ncert uh, go and uh, learn from ncert then you come back and solve the questions of kct level so first of all basics should be clear bachcha all formulas all things should be covered from ncert ncert is basics for your kset and for your pu boards as well so ncert has to be mastered you cannot have any lagging in or any backlog in ncert okay i hope this is clear okay then you go for reference book okay now make sure that you are attempting this examination in test room condition sorry uh, exam condition what is the meaning of this it means that time yourself okay let's say uh, paper is there for 60 minutes so you starting at 11:30 you starting at 11:30 then you got to solve only till 12:30 only till 12:30 okay do not take more than that let's say in this one hour in this one hour of time you solved only how many questions 54 questions 54 questions you have solved it's okay sir you will grade yourself for only this 54 questions you have to be honest bachcha because if you are here watching these videos it means you are actually looking to make a change in your studies so be honest try to be as honest as possible completely honest okay not as honest completely honest if you solve 54 questions then grade only 54 questions okay uh the next six questions that you have you solve it anyway but don't grade do not grade them because time concept is very important so make sure you are writing this mock test writing this mock test in the exam condition okay don't let anybody disturb you in that one hour that you are writing your examination or you are writing your mock test okay what next what next now try to make use of this omr sheets how can i do that you can find it available online right for 60 questions you can find it online and get the printouts get the printouts multiple printouts to keep whenever you are writing whether you are writing for chemistry bio whatever it is you are writing for maths physics any student that you are if you are writing uh, using a omr sheet in your actual examination that makes sure that you are using omr sheet sir the question is why why because what happens no your exam if you ha you have 60 questions to solve okay less time you have if you waste if you don't have practice to solve or make this darkening the circle perfectly you lose marks here and there 
you will be under pressure. Let's see in your mind, you will always have, okay, I have to darken it. If you are solving all the questions first and then you uh, plan to darken the circles in OMR seat, you'll, in your mind, what you'll be thinking always, okay, I need time for that also. So you might rush in a question which is very easy to solve if you had time, okay. So make sure that you have to uh, work on time management and that also uses OMR sheets. Every second counts, okay. So OMR sheets, try to solve or use a OMR sheet while answering these mock papers, okay. I What, what I used to do when I was a student, no? So let's say I'm solving question number one, question number two, question number 16. Okay, this is my option A. For this, I got option B. And for this, I got option C. So I used to do what? I used to do what? I'll mark this in the OMR seat, but not uh, completely because that might take a lot of time. So for let's say question one is there, no? So I'll mark it A, small circle, very small circle. So I don't have to turn the pages and look for the answer at the end. Okay, question two, B. So I'll mark it here, small one, very small marking. Question number 60, C. So I'll mark it here. So I will mark all the questions very, very small, small marking so that I don't have to look back and check are my answers all the time. If I'm sure, I'll mark it. And then while doing the marking at the end, I can do what? Completely work around my darkening the circle part. Okay. So this part, this, this is my way of doing it. You might have a better way so you can stick to it. But try to save as much time possible and do not have any stress that, okay, sir, I need some time to do this as well. So do not spend a lot of time in, in this. So that's why try to practice alongside your mock darkening your circles in OMR sheets. Okay, sir. Now, once you're done with the test, let's say after 1230, you're done with the test, you've solved 54 questions. Okay, you solved. How many questions you've solved? You've solved 54 questions, sir. Out of 60, you've solved 54 questions and you took one hour. Very good. Okay, now what you'll do, you'll come for the solutions at 6 p.m. Okay, check the solutions, check the solutions and for every correct answer, how much you'll grade? One for yourself. And if you have missed a question or you got it wrong, grade yourself zero. There's no negative marking, right? So grade yourself zero. Correct answer, one incorrect or unadopted questions, both you take zero. So let's say you got, you got 45 or 50 marks out of this, okay? So whatever it is, whether you get, let's say you solve only 38 questions in the first attempt, no problem. You, get my, my, you might get 30 marks only, no problem. Whatever marks you're getting, it will improve with time, but make sure that you are with, you're very honest, okay? And comment these marks with me in the comment section, in the solution session only. So I will get to know that you're working hard. You're, you're, you're very positive with the approach, okay? Don't worry about who will see my marks and all. That's, that's just secondary. First thing is, there should be interaction between me and you. I should know, okay, this bacha is working hard. He's looking to make a change with himself, okay? So make sure that you download this, uh, you go through the video solution and grade yourself, okay? Then, assignment I've already given for positive, you write it as one. If you got it right, you write it as one for every, uh, Incorrect or unattempted question, write zero, okay? Then have your total marks like this, okay? Now, this is the most important part. Analyze the mistakes. Now, I categorize it, the first one, the silly mistakes, okay? Uh, this can be calculation error. This can be something that you missed because just being in hurry, okay? Or this is something that you forgot out of the blue, like this doesn't come to you at that point of time. So silly mistakes. Then the other ones is, Conceptual mistakes, okay? Conceptual mistakes is also there. And the last one, lack of revision. Lack of revision. So you might lose marks because of these three reasons. These are, these are my categories, you might have more. So you can do your own analysis. You can do your own analysis, bacha, and figure it out where you're losing marks, okay? If you're losing on silly mistakes, not allowed, completely. Means be calm. And how will this, this come to you? By practice. So if you keep writing more, more and more mocks every week, then you will get better at this. You'll, you'll know how to avoid silly mistakes, okay? Then conceptual mistakes. Now conceptual mistakes can be two kind. It means, let's say, I don't know a chapter completely. I don't know ITF, sir. Then what are you going to do? Start NCRT, solve all the questions from there, then go to reference book, and then again solve the questions for PYQs. So all of this you have to do. So learn the concept first, learn the concept first, then solve all questions. So that's concept, conceptual mistakes. Now lack of revision. Even if you know something, but since you didn't have time to revise it, now this is not allowed, butcher. This is not allowed. How can you not be prepared? You are going for a battle, going for a war. You cannot go, you know, without a weapon. So if you are going into writing a mock test, you have to be prepared. You must be prepared. Okay. So lack of revision is not allowed. You must be prepared. There is no excuse for that. Okay. So these are the mistakes. So I figure it out. You can have more. Uh, 
uh, categories in it that I'm making mistake in this category sir formulas are uh, getting wrong sir so I'll practice the formula whatever it is now work on the things where you made mistake work on the weaknesses let's say I have sir uh, I am losing marks in ITF I'm losing marks in integral calculus I'm losing marks in matrices multiplication so whatever is your weakness that you find okay sir I am losing marks here all the time so you work on that bacha do not leave it as it is because if a weakness is kept uh, you know without any uh, work then it will be actually worse you will not get better so to get better at any weak point you must work on it okay you must work on it how will you work again if it is very bad start from ncrt if it's okay then you can you know start with the concepts only learn the uh, concepts and revise the concepts again and start the directly kct problems okay all right so this is very important you should know your strengths what you're good at sir i'm good at uh, let's say uh, i'm good at sir uh, probability so i'll not solve any questions from it no sir if you're good at it, then what are you going to do? You'll try to solve that question as fast as possible. Means I am good at probability questions. Any questions that comes in probability, I'll, I'll solve it sir, for sure, 100%. I'll get it right. But then try to increase your speed in that particular topic. So work hard. Let's say I'm good at a probability. I'm good at uh, maybe a permutation combination. So what I'm going to do, I'll keep working hard and hard so that my time taking to solve one question in PNC is less and less. Okay. So wherever your, your strength lies, try to solve it as fast as possible. Okay. What about weaknesses? Keep working on it. So, by the end of the preparation, what should happen? No, there should be a trend. Your strength, the number of strength topics in the strength category should increase, and the number of topics in the weakness category should decrease. Right? So, let's say you list it out. These are my strengths. These are my weaknesses. So, number of strengths should keep increasing, and number of weaknesses should keep coming down. Right? That's how you approach your test. Okay? So, I think this should answer all of your question. Uh, if I have missed anything, comment below. And I will try to answer all of your doubts, all of your query regarding our KPL for mathematics series starting on 6th October. Do not miss it. Get the question paper. Join the link. Uh, the link is given here. Join the WhatsApp channel and get your question paper. Solve it and then come for the solution. Okay. I am very sure that you're going to be honest with yourself. Okay. And with me as well. So be honest and uh, keep working hard. Make sure that you solve this paper and comment below. I want to know how much of you solved it. How many of you have solved this? I see how many people are watching the video. So I want to know maximum number of students who are attempting these uh, sessions or who are uh, going through these sessions must solve this case at paper for mathematics right you are asking for it that's why i've come up here i'm putting effort from my side i want you to put effort from your side as well any feedback make sure that you put in comment okay i'll try to get better and work with you as well and any requirement is there put in the comments also i want to interact with you so make sure that you put a lot of comments this helps you know make me uh, make me feel okay my hard work is worth it okay whatever i'm doing i'm getting response from you people so make sure that you are there in the comment section asking for your doubts asking for all the help that you need whatever i can do i'll provide from my, my side okay so that's it for today's session i'll see you in your solution for your mock one for kpl one paper so uh, keep smiling keep working hard see you